Okay, so now let's work on the GitHub, this guy. So first of all, I would like to open up a file uh, which is in uh, here and this is known as CSS for GitHub searcher.txt. So I've already uh, got rid of lots of nonsense of uh, writing the CSS uh, because writing the CSS in front of you guys is going to be a nightmare for you. It's going to take some time and uh, basically it's going to just take time and we don't have time. So let's just copy this and open up your app.css and just at the bottom uh, paste this everything and uh, this should look like this, okay? Uh, nothing much changed in here, just the body color right now and we can just simply close this app CSS. We don't need you, we don't need you. And let's start with the github.js, okay? So what we'll be doing in the github.js? Now, first of all, uh, we're gonna use the fetch fetch method of uh, fetching the APIs and basically it again returns you uh, a result which is uh, which can be an error or can be a response so basically it's a promise which is handled by dot then and dot get so we are going to do that and we're going to use the constructor as well so that is going to be good okay let's start in here now I want to break it down into two separate components. One will be a searcher, which is gonna be an input box and that will be handled by a separate component. And the display of the profile will be handled by a separate component. And this GitHub guy is gonna be used for querying onto the web, okay? So I will right click on the source and create a new file. And uh, I'll be calling this as simply profile.js. And I need one more. So I'll right click on the source, right click new there, and this will be called this as search, search.js. Okay, that is good. And uh, obviously we are gonna need a skeleton there. So let's quickly throw up a skeleton there. This is, this is a skeleton. So we can copy this and we can paste it in the profile. And don't forget to change this guy. This is gonna be profile save that and this is going to be again a search so let's just change that so there we go so our skeleton is ready and uh, one thing i noticed now i should have actually created the search and profile inside the component this is the kind of a theme we are following but i'll just leave them here uh, i would request request all of you to just put that uh, into a, a component folder that would be good okay now in this GitHub, uh, since our page is only calling one component GitHub, uh, I would like to import rest of the profile and search thing in here. So let's just import them. And this is going to be simply profile, which is going to import from. Uh, in, the, in our case, it's going to be simply dot slash profile. In your case, it's going to be inside the components and inside the profile. I hope everybody knows by far now that how to import that. Now don't do my mistake of using component, it's components in my case. And we are also gonna import search. And this is also gonna come up from search, okay. There we go, and this is good. Now outside my class, uh, I want to define the API as a constant. So this is gonna be a simple const there. Uh, I would like to call this as simple API and uh, this will be accessible by all of the class. And it's gonna be really simple, https colon slash slash api dot github dot com. Oops, yep, it's right, github.com slash users. Now here uh, we can amend this uh, quite a lot because just after the users, uh, if you just put out anything, let me show you, it's rather easier to show the things just in talking in here. So copy that and let me show you uh, what you can do is you can just paste it in here and slash, uh, let me just uh, mention my GitHub profile there. Uh, there we go, if I hit enter there, it just returns me this much of the data. So we'll be filtering out a few things that uh, uh, from in here we'll be taking a lot of things. We can take blog, location, and a lot of things. Uh, first thing we'll be taking is a name, and we'll be taking a username. In fact, I have already made it up a list what I'm taking, I've already made my mind. But again, it's gonna be really simple. If you just want to use any other things as well, you can just grab them from in here. Pretty simple, pretty easy. 
We have done this API things in the past as well, uh, but that was typical one. This is easy one. And in fact, most of the API that we'll be handling will be just like this, pretty easy one. So let's just go in here and uh, let's just try to work with that. And first of all, uh, I would like to go inside the class and go with the constructor. So our con for constructor and notice how much time we are always saving by these components in constructor, okay? So one thing we are getting is username and I'll give it a default state of my, uh, my username there so that we can have some data all the time. Let's use a comma. I want a name that I'm pretty sure. So I'll just keep that as a blank, okay? And what else we need? We need avatar as well so that we can display some nice photos there and avatar all of these are going to be simply empty strings right now avatar and repos how can i forget that repos is going to be there uh, how many repos the user is having and what else do we have so what can we have uh, we'll have followers and following as well that would be good and we'll have home url as well okay so followers there we go, followers goes there, following goes there, okay, and we're gonna have a home URL as well, and home URL goes there, and we'll one more have, uh, which is gonna be not found, so we'll also care about the case where uh, the username is not being found, okay? So these are some of the states uh, that we will have. Uh, now what we can do is we can just uh, look out for a method. Uh, we can define a simple method that will be fetching out all the things in here, okay? And right now we don't have any input box or anything there. Uh, we will be working out on that later on. Right now it's important to just work out with the API and get some data and print that data in the console, okay? So just about our render things, uh, Let's just do, uh, or what we can do is, uh, let's just do this like that. So it's gonna be simply uh, fetching the API. So I'll be simply calling it is uh, get profile. You can call that anything. And it's gonna take a parameter. Whenever this is being called, it's, it's gonna have a simple username. Because notice when we are defining a constant, we are just saying slash users. After that, we have to give the username as well. And the reason why I have given a username uh, as a default so that I can use it when I call this function as this.state.username, okay? I hope you get my point. Okay, and uh, we're gonna have a simple, well, let's create a URL in here first of all because that is what we are gonna request there. Uh, so let's call this as base or final URL, final URL. And that URL is gonna be, let's use the back ticks there, much more easier, like that way in this case, is first of all, it's gonna be the API, now which is accessible to all the class, no need to call that as a this dot or anything. Let's use a slash there, and then we are gonna be providing a dollar, and this is gonna be username, whatever it is being fetched, okay? That is good, one thing solved, okay? And if you like, you can log out the URL as well to see, figure out whether this is right or not. I'm pretty sure this is good for me, so I'll just use. Now, the, this way of using the API is pretty simple. We can just simply say fetch, and fetch is gonna take a URL that is gonna be the final URL. And as soon as it do does that, we can use the dot then. And in the then, it is pretty, pretty simple. And again, obviously it's gonna take a callback function, so it gives us a result back. And I'll call that as result. And we'll use a fat arrow function again in here. And the fat arrow function is gonna be simply having res.json. So that is how it, it's easy. It just gives you a JSON object there. Okay, that is good. Okay, and we can handle the response uh, as well. Uh, let's use another dot then. You can use as many then as you wish. And if it gives us a data, uh, what we can do in here as well is, if it gives us a data, then again, we can use a fat arrow function. 
and now I can use a method this dot set to set all of the variables in here. So I'll be saying this dot set state and in the set state I'll just use these guys and basically I have to copy all of these things copy that and paste in here and uh, this is gonna be in here so what we are getting is a data and notice uh, this is the data we are getting we are calling this as data so data dot login is the first thing that we have in here but again it should be outside so data dot login okay the next is name which we'll get from data dot name the next is avatar which we will get from data dot avatar url data dot avatar underscore url and uh, the repos is going to be simply rest of the things are pretty easy like uh, data uh, dot public repo because it only allows us to fetch the data of public repositories otherwise private repositories are not accessible data dot followers and uh, this guy is going to be simply i forgot a comma there this can throw out a bug there and there as well nice catch there and we're going to have data dot following and the home url would be data dot html url and the final not found uh, would be just stored by a data dot message so if it doesn't found anything it just throwbacks a message there okay so we are ready to rock and roll in here and also in case there is an error let's uh, catch an error there as well so catch an error and to catch an error we can use a callback function in here so it's going to have error use our favorite fat arrow function and it's going to simply log there uh, something like uh, we can just get the error or we can uh, use a custom message there there was a problem in fetching data okay looks good to me okay and that is it and in axios you can also do the same thing uh, that we have discussed but again i find uh, the fetch as much better i don't have to call any repositories and it gives basically uh, simple objects and i can just work with them that's much easier for me okay so this is good so far now i want this uh, to be fired up every single time the component is mounted so i'll call it as component uh, did mount no not before the mounting component will mount will not work here because the component is not yet mounted i want this to be fired up as soon as the component mounts after that okay so component did mount and let's call this method so this uh, dot and what's your name get profile this is your name okay get profile and we're gonna say this dot state dot username there we go should does the job but should not display anything on uh, on the screen uh, but what you can do is as soon as we get this uh, and we can just do a quick console log there i i request you to do so okay and i'll like to save this and notice we are not getting any error we are not getting any crashes inspect that in the console everything looks happy warning we are not much worried about it saying profile and search are not used we will use them okay and last thing that we'll be doing in here in this division is uh, creating a section and call this profile and search so uh, the reason why we are creating a section uh, with an id of card is because i've actually already written a css for that so that is why we are doing it so card is there and let's close the section as well okay there we go and let's call our two guys the first guy is going to be search uh, let's call this as search component is called and uh, let's end this and after that we are going to call the profile as well and let's end this and save this shouldn't be doing much in here uh, but things are good right now no errors that is good sign 
and now let's in the next video let's talk about the search and this profile component let's work on them but in the next video